Hello viewers, this is Mr. Banda, Mathematics Made Easy. So in today's lesson, we have uh, a concept coming from uh, ECZ Additional Mathematics, uh, Slabus D. Now, the question is coming from the topic called Binomial Expansion. And I have deliberately brought this as uh, a concept the concept is based on the term independent of x. So the question is saying, find the term independent of x in the expansion 3x plus 1 over x. This is coming from 2020 specimen question. Now, what you're supposed to do is this for us to solve this particular question. Do not forget that uh, each and every term of a binomial expansion given in this general form where we have a plus b to the power n, okay, where n is the power of the binomial uh, expression that you have, a term, each term or any term of this expansion can be obtained by the formula any combined r, okay, and you have a to the power n minus r, times b to the power r, where r is, where r is uh, equal to 0, 1, you go on and on, up to n. So r lies from 0 up to n. So this is the formula that you have to obtain n term. Now, in this particular question, you can see that our a is 3x and our b is 1 over x and our n is 10. Now, when you're saying a term independent of x, you are looking for a term that does not have x in this case. So, let us see what we must do. Now, since our a is equal to 3x, our n Let's get our b. Our b is equal to 1 over x and our n is equal to 10. Okay, the term, each term for this expression, binomial expression, can be written as 10 combined r. Okay, then our a is 3x to the power 10 minus r times our b is 1 over x to the power r. Okay, that's how we can um, obtain each term or n term of this particular expansion. So this is going to be 10 combined r, then this is 3 to the power 10 minus r times x, this x to the power also 10 minus r times this is 1 to the power r. Now, regardless of what r is, you know that 1 exponent any value, you get 1. So this will just be 1 over x to the power r. So this is 1 to the power r, which is just 1, over x to the power r, which is x to the power r. Now, if this term does not have x in it, or independent is independent of x, this is going to be 10 combined r being equal to, this is 3, 10 minus r times x, 10 minus r over, so what I'm doing here is I'm multiplying uh, what we have here. 3 to the power 10 minus r times x to the power 10 minus r times 1, you get the numerator as 3, 10 minus r, x, 10 minus r over 1 times 1 times x to the power r, you get x to the power r. Now, if this is independent of x, what will be r? Okay, meaning it doesn't have x. So if it doesn't have x, this x and that x will cancel out. And for these to completely cancel out or to divide, uh, it means that the powers must be equal. You know that x to the power n divided by x to the power n, that's what will give you 1. 
that's the only way that you can cancel out the excess. So what you are saying, or in other words, what you are saying is that this x power r will be the same as this x power 10 minus r. So if these two are equal, meaning that the bases are equal, it means that the exponents are supposed to be equal. So you are saying that this r you are seeing here will be equal to 10 minus r. Okay? You add the additive inverse of negative r on this side and the additive inverse of r here, uh, of negative r, you get r plus r being equal to 10. This will give you 2r being equal to 10. And this is equivalent to say that r must be 5. Okay, we have solved for r here. When you divide by 2, divide by 2, you get r being equal to 5. So that's what r is. Now, since you know what r is, can you now solve for the term, okay. can you now find what this term is? Because you know what R is. So the term is here, okay? So the term, the term independent, independent of X is 10 combined pi, because our R is pi, then this will be three, 10 minus 5, you get power 5, okay, times x power 10 minus r, r is 5, so that will be x power 5, over x power r is 5, this will also be x power 5, so this is the term, but eventually, because it is independent of uh, x, this is x power 5, x power 5, now we can divide, as you can see, it won't have x, so, this is 10, choose 5, or combined 5, times 3 exponent 5. Alright, what is that going to give us? So, on your calculator, 10, choose, or combined 5, is going to give you 252. So, this will be 252 times what is 3 to the power to the power 5 it, will, it is 243 so what is 252 times 243 this is going to give you 61,236 so the term independent of x in this case is 61,000 236. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and understood this particular concept to the fullest that no matter how the question may be phrased, uh, you are not going to find a challenge in finding or solving for the term independent of x. Thank you so much uh, for listening and uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can enjoy some more questions to do with mathematics. This is Mr. Banda. Thank you so much and God bless you all.